Okay, today we're going to do a little bit of blade balancing 101. Uh, today's blades are pretty well balanced right out of the box, so a lot of times this is just a matter of sticking them on the balancer and a scale and seeing how you set. A lot of times they'll be very close in weight and very close in uh, overall balance. Uh, the other good thing though, knowing how to balance a set of blades, is that you can take some crashed blades where you have one good blade, one broke. Uh, when you get a bunch of those laying around, you might be able to find a set that are pretty well balanced and uh, go ahead and final balance it using this method. Uh, to do this, you're going to need some kind of a balancer. This is a beam style balancer uh, available at Heli Direct for about $30. And uh, it's a very good quality and it works very well for smaller blades. The other thing you're going to need is a set of pocket scales. This one's good to 500 grams at 0.1 gram increments. And then I use electrical tape since I, the blades are black, you can't see it, and this just adds weight to the light blade. And then uh, some uh, holographic uh, stickers. I, I like putting a flash on the end. helps me see the blades better, especially black ones. The last thing here is, <laughs> this is just a little credit card. It's been cut, it's old, it was an expired credit card, and a uh, bar stool bottom, a little rubber stopper for a bar stool. And what I've done is cut a slit in it and shoved the credit card in. And what I use this for is checking span-wise CG of the blade. And this will be explained here in a second. So the first thing we want to do is we might as well just go ahead and bolt this thing on to see if we have to do anything. Let's just go ahead and take a blade. I like putting them on. I like putting them on the balancer the way they'd be put onto the helicopter. So the left-hand blade here is going to be Point, the leading edge will be pointed away from me and this blade on the right hand side the leading edge will be pointed towards me as it would be on the helicopter with a clockwise rotating head. So let's just go ahead and see how it sits. Okay, obviously we have one blade that's a little heavy. The blade on the right is the heavy blade so we're going to call the, this blade on the right we're going to call it the master blade. So let's go ahead and take it off first and set it aside and then take the light blade off and just set the balancer away. Uh, now we might go ahead and take a look and see how much weight we got to add to these blades. So again, this is a light blade. Go ahead and put it on your scale in grams. Uh, this one weighs 26 grams even and it's the light blade. Let's go put the heavy blade on and I'm reading 26.3 grams. So we know we need to add 0.3 grams to this light blade. But where are we going to add that? Uh, if you add it at the tip, you could throw off the balance between the blades, the, the span-wise balance. So that's what I use the little credit card and rubber stop for. And so let's go ahead and take the light blade first. And all I'm going to do is set it on here. I'm going to try to find out where the CG of this blade is span wise this way and again it doesn't have to be complete rocket science just get it close just so it's not really bad that's pretty good and then just put your finger there I have a sharpie that I use and I just go ahead and mark it and again this is a light blade so let's set that there now we want to do the heavy blade and same thing we're just going to go ahead and find out about where it sits That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and mark this. And what this is going to do is, if the if they line up perfect when we put these up here, then we know we can put the tape right on that mark that we just did. So let's line the holes up and see where it. Oh, okay. Yep. I don't I don't think you can see that on the camera, but our sharpie marks are exactly in the same place. So again, I'm going to take the heavy blade and set it aside. And now I know that where I want to put the tape is right on that blade. Now if this, if the, uh, if the line would have been like this where the center of gravity was more out here on the light blade than it was on the top of heavy blade, then I would want to put the weight more back here or vice versa. And all you're trying to do is to match all the CGs up. So, go ahead and get some tape here. And I, I do know that for some reason this tape runs about 
three quarters or point zero seven five gram per inch. And I've met, weighed it before, so about four gram, four inches or so should be about uh, point three grams. So we're just going to eyeball it and uh, set that aside. Now we're going to take the light blade and we're just going to put again. Here's our mark from CG. We're just going to start on the back of the blade because when we bring it around, we want it to lay flat and uh, let's just cut a little bit off. I think I got a little bit too much. Cut a little bit off like that. But this lip wants to be in the slipstream of the blade. So it doesn't want to be, the lip doesn't want to be out like this. If it was, as it spins, it's going to pull that tape off. You do it the other way and it, it pushes the tape down. So, hopefully we've added 0.3. So the final thing to do is go ahead and uh, check the weights again. So let's put the blades back on our balancer. And see where it sets. And hopefully it balances pretty well. Uh, there you go. That's not too bad. No, neither blade's hitting the ground. Uh, we could have had a little bit more tape. Uh, probably that half inch that I cut off I shouldn't have. And it would have balanced perfect. Uh, I would fly them like this. If you want to get it perfect, take that tape off. Re-put it on about a half inch more. And I think you'll end up having a perfectly balanced set of blades. Now I'll just take them off here. We'll add the holographic. We'll have the go ahead and add the holographic uh, stickers again. You want to start at the leading edge and fold them around this way, so the slipstream pushes the sticker down instead of the wind grabbing it, and you're done. Go fly.